Hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Right, a bit of news. I've sold my e-bike, but I'm building a new one. <laughs> but you know what it's like? You get addicted. You build one, and then you've got to go faster. You build another one, and you've got to go faster again. This time, I'm going to bit bananas, and I'm going to build 11,000 watt e-bike. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at what I'm going to buy. Hoi! <laughs> So the first thing to come in the post is a set of 19 inch motorcycle rims and a 50H QS V3 rear hub motor with a rated power of 5000 watts but can be pushed much much further. So you may be asking, why am I going back to a rear hub motor and what am I going to build? Well I'm going to be making a legal e-bike that has lights, indicators and a number plate, motorbike handlebar switch gear. I will have to pass an MSV in the UK, which means Motorcycle Single Vehicle Approval. I will try to go into as much detail as possible of what I buy, how I fit it, and what I have to do to make sure it'll pass the MSVA. So let's have a quick look at the back wheel and uh, there are they are there. NC 200 917 just a serial number that is, but they've got a 5T there, so that's, that is uh, gone for more of a torquey uh, hub motor. If you want more speed, you go for like a 3T or a 3.5T. I've gone for a 5T because there's lots of big hills by me, so torque. I hope it's not too slow. It should, shouldn't be. Um, it's got, it's a 19 inch wheel, 36 spokes. Um, it comes built with um it's already got the can't focus on that there we go it's already got the ring around it to protect the inner tube that's how it comes and then we got let's focus there we got the three phase wires and there's two of them one is spare look I think there's a heat six wires in there, so I think it's got a heat sensor in there as well. Also, I got these tires. So I find the what is it? Ah, oh, the it's under there, is it? There we are. If you can see that there, three inch nineteen tire kender so here's the front wheel that's a 19 inch wheel as well and it's got twin disc hubs so there's a oh, i can't even explain it <laughs> it's, you can put a disc on either side uh, uh, why can i not explain that <laughs> so you can put a disc on either side of the wheel so i'm going to have twin calipers on the front and this is me trying to put the front motorcycle wheel, motorcycle tyre on the wheel. And let me tell you, with small little um, tyre levers, it's difficult. Anyway, me putting the tyres on will be in the next video, when I get a little bit better at putting tyres on. So, in the bag here, we've got motorcycle switches from AliExpress. I'll, I'll put the price somewhere on the screen what I paid for them and this is the right side which has got a on and off that's quite simple they use after the controller turn the controller on controller off side lights headlights uh, that would be the starter button for a petrol motorcycle but I'll see if I can repurpose that for something then you got the lever switch there, the two ways for lever switch, which goes right down there, comes to the end of that plug there, look. I might use this plug, I might not, I'll have to wait and see what happens when the wiring comes. So there's that one there, 
And then we've got the left side. We've got the headlights dipped, main beam. We got indicators with a nice cancelling action there. We got hazard warning lights, which is cool. And we got the horn. And then at the back there, look, is the old flasheroo. And same again, look, we got the wire in there for the lever switch. So we'd use that as brake light or cut off, whatever. That goes down to that plug there, which is similar to the other one. Might use that, might not. But look at the quality. The, the price for these, I paid for these, and the quality is amazing. Whether they work good or not, I don't know, but um, they, they just look brilliant. Because usually, in the past, motorcycle switches from China have been a bit, you know, questionable. But these ones are brilliant. They're fantastic. Anyway, they're going on the bike. So that's part of the lighting system, indicators and everything else. So here we have the, oh, let's turn it around. The headlight, and it's got dot SAE with an E mark. If that's real or not, I don't know, because it was from China, so. Anyway, uh, you need that to pass the MSVA. Uh, it's got heat sinks on the back, because it's an LED. And they got daytime running lights on there. We got the uh, case there. Oh, this is a 5.75 inch headlight as well. Not a seven inch one, 5.75 LED. We got the bowl for it to go in there. Then we got the front part like that. And we got these clamps that go around the forks for the headlight. And the second clamp, I don't know if you can see, there look, the second clamp, they've given me a, <laughs> let's get out of the right way, right now look at that, they give me a flat, flat bendy, let's put it on that way like that, look at the state of that. I have to bend that straight like a, uh, the box wasn't damaged, so they must have put it in the box, bent. Cheeky monkeys. Can I say cheeky monkeys? I don't know. In this day and age, you can't say anything, can I? Cheeky blighters? <laughs> I don't know what I can say. Just cheeky. But look at that, flat. Anyway, and then... In the box as well, you get these springs. One, two, three, four springs. Now, I sat there thinking, how does this fit into this? It goes in there like this, okay? It also came with some screws, but that didn't make any difference at all, right? So I was thinking, how spring, so, I scratched my head for a while. I was thinking, how are they? How do? How does this go in here? How? So I moved it around. Didn't have a clue. So, if you get a headlight from AliExpress or from China with no instructions, because they, they never come with instructions, what you do? Put the headlight in that thing there, like that. If you can see that there, sitting in there. There's the bottom there, you can see that's them two screw holes at the bottom. Line it up like that. Inside here is a ridge. It's hard to show it, but it, there's a ridge. You get these that way. No, it's going to be difficult, this isn't it? So you get these, and you get that, and there's a ridge up there. See that's gone under, under a ridge? I don't know if you can see that. See it disappearing up under a ridge? Out of the ridge, into the ridge. <laughs> and then you line it up where you want it, 
it's going to go right on the edge of there like that right and then this is this tricky bit now you've got to watch your eyes push that down like that and that goes under the ridge there so it goes under the ridge there under the ridge there and it sits just on the lip there and then you work your way around you do one there you do one down the bottom one there on the edge there once they're all in get your bow like that that's just popped out now because I've only got one in I about bear with me I'll put another one in now but... cut right I put one in the bottom one in the top just so I can show you now you'll have another one there another one there get the bowl put that in there there's, there's a little clip on the top there put our top in first like that laying it up you put your two screws in there and there you are a lovely headlight looks quite nice doesn't it another bargain I'll put the price by here somewhere right by there it'll be by there okay right let's move on to something else so here's a 31.8 mm by 700 mm aluminium handlebar from AliExpress that cost £12.25 and a wake 31.8 mm handlebar stem from good old eBay. And a 12 volt LED flasher for the indicators that cost only £3.32. And you can see it as a live and an earth, and the green wire is live power out to the indicators. All right then, so there we go then. That's uh, that'll be this video for now. Um, I'll put everything that's in this video in the description if you want to look for yourself. Um, give it a like because you know if you give it a like, then more people see the video, don't they? Uh, subscribe if you don't mind. Um, there's a Patreon link and a PayPal link in the description as well if you think the channel deserves a little bit of help because uh, every little helps I don't know if that's uh, copyrighted <laughs> and um, I'll see you in the next one have a good one Hoi! Go, 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 go.